dear students welcome to virtual class of municipal corporation of greater mumbai this class is for class 8 scholarship students you will be getting a class related to intelligence test of scholarship i am sri kumar let me begin the class dear students we are continuing with the intelligence test series in the sense that series of studies we studied about comprehension we studied about uh, series we studied about classification what all kinds of question can come here comes a new unit what is named as analogy analogy is a kind of comparison where you will be comparing two things because of the special relationship between those two and we'll try to find out the same relationship between another set of things or we may sometime think about the similarity and difference simultaneously the most important thing of analogy is studying the relationship so uh, in that case first two set you should compare concentrate on the first two terms then find out their relationship then find the similar relationship by concentrating on the remaining term and select the right alternative from the given options it can be words figures numbers letters or anything such can be used for checking the ability of analogy and uh, here is an example the example will make me easy to make you understand that what actually the concept of analogy is here you are having two words ape and monkey we know that what are monkeys and apes but if we ask you how is there what is the difference between ape and mon- monkey the difference is very 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 minimal uh, ape is uh, uh, something which is evolved out of monkey after monkey ape came after ape human beings like uh, started appearing in the evolutionary tree the point over here this ape and monkey are uh, related just like one is the ancestor of the other the same way rabbit is also having in its evolutionary path its own ancestor and how and what particular animal it is and how do we name that animal that's the question here we are having uh, options like rat hare tortoise and uh, white white cannot be because it is a color only if the three animals are rat hare and tortoise rat cannot be because rat and rabbit is not having any relationship as far as evolution is concerned tortoise is also same way tortoise is someone something uh, uh, we came to know when uh, in, in a hare and tortoise uh, uh, race was there and hare in that case always we always we felt as a animal a rabbit so hare is the answer we know very clearly so the answer over here is hair h a r e but uh, at the same time when such things come the most important thing is what is the relationship between these first two two the same kind of relationship you should try to find out between the rabbit and something more here and i just try to find out whether uh, how can we think about ape and monkey and ape look like this almost much evolved than a monkey and monkey is like these are the pictures of ape and monkey almost similar but different the same way rabbit we know what is a rabbit and how it rabbit looks like and hair is also almost similar only thing is the long ears and long tail is there and more colorful uh, uh, shades are there as far as a hair is concerned rabbit most of the time we consider um white color rabbit comes in our mind that may be the reason why it is given here tortoise is given because there was a story of hare and tortoise hare is given here which is the right answer the rat i don't know where from that particular option came anyway hare is the right answer okay let me go to the next question o henry the last leaf shakespeare shakespeare is a, is the term which is very familiar to you great english writer o henry is also a great poet shakespeare wrote more drama and poems so this is for someone who is having inclination towards literature see for uh, checking your intelligence anything can be used it can be math it can be words it can be grammar tests it can be general knowledge or it can be any observation skill the relationship between o henry and the last leaf is the last leaf is a poem written by o henry very famous very famous and you must read it so there can be answer here related to shakespeare the answer over here already i marked it one of the answer is macbeth is a 
drama written by Shakespeare. One more is there in the given list as you like it. This kind of question, if there are two answers for a question, so the instruction given specially that pick out two from the given options. Pick out two from the given options will be given in your question paper. So you will mark two. Both will be marked. Both Macbeth and as you like it will be marked by you. Here is another question. Cloth, meter, sugar, what? How cloth and meter are related? We have to find out that. The cloth is measured in meters. That way, sugar, how we measure? Sugar, sugar we will weigh. We will find out the weight of sugar. How we will find out gram, kilogram? It can be milligram. Normally, gold is measured in milligram. It can be quintal. It can be ton like that. The measurement of sugar can go. Here also select two answers are given. That means kilogram is an answer. Ton is also an answer. Kilogram and ton. Sometimes the question will be select two answers. You have to select both answers. Then only you will get your mark properly. So my dear student, this is what is a, the what is one of the technique used in analogy to find out your intelligence. Little is used for measuring liquid having a different different shape and volume millimeter is a measurement used for length kilogram and ton are unit of mass which is used for measuring the weight of sugar the mass of sugar okay let me go ahead moon 27 what is the relationship between 27 and moon moon take 27 days to revolve around the earth and earth on, on its axis also. So it is about rotation or revolution of moon. We know that earth rotates on its own axis in 24 hours and revolves around sun in 365 days. So this can be the options. So here also there is a very possibility. Moon's rotation time and revolution time are same, which is equal to 27. Earth's rotation time and revolution time are not same. So what we should consider is very important here. As far as Moon is concerned, 27 is applicable for both. For rotation and revolution. So in that case, you are having answer 365 as correct answer because earth take 365 days to revolve around the sun and as well also 24 hours to rotate so here also in certain situation if it is not mentioned clearly how to select two answers you will select only one answer any one of these answers will provide you mark because it is a peculiarity of the moon that it rotates and revolves at the same time. That is why we are seeing the same face. Same face means same appearance or shade on the moon always. If it's a different area on moon, if it was observable for us, we might have seen a different design on that. It, I'm not talking about the shape of the moon. I'm talking about the face means how the design, how the appearance of the moon. It is same always because rotation and revolution are of equal time. So in that case, what we should write, whether we should write about revolution, then it is 365 days in the case of Earth. rotation, it is 24 hours. So both will fetch you mark. Here comes next question. It is numbers 2, 3, 7, 1, 7, 2, 8. 412. What is the relationship between 237 and 1728? You can pause the video here and think about what can be the relationship. I am going to give the answer so naturally you will not get a chance to think. To avoid that you can pause the video, think yourself, get the answer and come back. According to me, when I just try to get the answer, when I added 2 plus 3 plus 7, which is equal to 12, when 12 
cube is taken that means 12 into 12 into 12 it gives 7 1728 in that case i should add 4 plus 1 plus 2 which is equal to 7 its cube is 49 into 7 which is equal to 343 so the answer is 343 same relationship okay my dear students that way it works going to the next question 17 and 72 16 is to what these are the options 17 to 72 can pause the video and work yourself the relation between 17 and 72 72 is not divisible by 17 that means 72 and 17 doesn't have any such a relationship which is it is not divisible Seventeen into four is equal to sixty-eight. Plus four is equal to seventy-two. So if we multiply sixteen into four is equal to sixty-four. Plus four is equal to sixty-eight. So we can write this as answer. Same relationship. If any of you could find out any other relationship, it is well and good. This is what I got. and it must be correct because it is a relationship same type multiply with 4 and add 4 good another question 14 is to 2 39 is to what oh You can pause the video and think about the answer. Find out the answer otherwise. Fourteen is divisible by two. Two sevens are fourteen. Then what can be the relationship? So thirty-nine is divisible by three. Why can't we write three and get the answer easily? Always it will not be tough. Sometimes it will be very easy. This is an easy question. The answer is three. A number divisible in the case of thirty-nine, four, five, six are not numbers by which we can divide thirty-nine. But three is a factor of thirty-nine, just like two is two for fourteen. I think the answer is three. Here comes another question. My dear students, uh, this is a test of an analogy where you will be finding out the relationship between first two terms, same relationship. We will find out for the third and fourth, and the fourth one is not given, which you will find from the given options. It is interesting to note that first one is ADs and second one is D5A, and what are answers? Here answers are giving us clue. All answers are having a all the, both both the number digits both alphabets and a number in between so ad became da that means this must become ge ulta so the answer is having g here g here g here so answer must be among these three now how did we get this 5 how did if you think about the number series a is 1 d is 4 4 plus 1 5 maybe because 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 in that case e is equal to 5 and g is equal to 7 correct right so we will write g e and we will write 7 plus 5 12 here and we have an option here is an option g 12 e so that is answer because we got the clue from this already given otherwise the question is asking us whether you can find out the relationship between first two terms and find out the fourth one here with the, in, the, in the same way or with the same relationship so my dear students analogy will be testing your 
ability to identify the relationship between two terms either by this kind of alphabets sometime by numbers sometime by terms sometime by giving figures like this here is a set of figures these are question figures these two are related the same way what will be here there is a question i would say that always i have said also you need to apply the theory of omission first and then you should can think about this cannot be this cannot be the what is remaining in these two in that this can be the answer so what i think in this case here is circle is there then it became a hexagon so it became hexagon here if it is a hexagon here the answer must be a, in, in in the form of a circle so you can omit this so there are three answers uh, three options among the three which one that's a question this one has rotated 90 degree in this case correct this is 90 degree the same way if this has to be rotated 90 degree it will go through this corner of it or it will be in this direction so the option is here circle is there as well as the direction head direction is correct another peculiarity is that where it is white patch is there it became dark here so the same way if it is white patch over here on turning it this way it is it has become dark so the answer is third one first two are related the same way third and fourth here is the last one for you find out what is here you can pause the video and think four boxes are given and simply it moved one step right clockwise or right the so black came here triangle over here the circle came here triangle here but circle became dark and sorry triangle became dark and the circle became empty or not darkening so the same way if this is here it will move here and here so the circle will come here and square will come here but here square is open circle is darkened so in the answer circle will be lightened and square will be darkened understood so it will move one step not like that this will move here this will move here not here sorry so this circle will come here and square will come here the circle over here will be like this here so the answer must be first one there is no limit for question there can be n number of questions enough questions are available but one who practice it thoroughly understanding what are the different techniques used for testing the intelligence you should thoroughly follow it so that you will feel good about it and you will feel good about your intelligence is tested and try to answer as many questions as possible it's a good exercise good game and good for you so that's all in this video please go to the uh, show more button below the video click on that you will get uh, some feedback form fill up that and below that you will be getting a set of uh, questions similar to this which you can answer and uh, practice 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 that's the best way of uh, scoring good mark thank you